Recently, I made this chest of drawers to reorganize my bits for the channel, and today we're going to reorganize everything. You can see I have this strip in the bottom uh, that I used in the past to label what's where. Uh, there's a couple things I want to switch up here, uh, including um, reorganizing stuff and moving these nut drivers to the next drawer below. I've laid out some stuff here on the bottom to see where I would like it to roughly be, and we're going to build some shelving for that. If you go to the next drawer down, this is where I'm going to want to put my nut drivers at, and I'm going to want to build an adapter for it. And if you go down a little bit more, I have all these mortise or bits that I keep under my drill press. I want to come up with a good way to organize them. This is the Harbor Freight that I purchased for maybe about $40 about five years ago. Um, I'd like to have something where I can set them up like this and hold them upright so they're nice and organized. Also, if I'd like to get a couple extra bits down the road with some duplicates, I want to have space for that as well. We're going to start off by making the upper two drawer bit holders. We're going to get a piece of three quarter inch plywood, cut it to its length and to its width. We're going to readjust our fence and we're going to cut a quarter inch piece that's the exact same size for the bottom. The quarter inch piece is not going to have any holes in it, it simply catches the bits so they don't fall through the holes on the top piece. Next we're going to draw some lines three quarters of an inch apart and we're going to drill holes all the way through. This is going to take a lot of time and it's the most tedious part of the project, but it's the most important part because that's how we're going to keep all our bits stored and held. You want to make sure you take your time when doing this, you don't want to drill too hard, you want to make sure you use a brad point bit. This is one of those times if you have a drill press fence, you want to use it. Here's how it looks with all the holes in it. Came out great. Next, we're going to cut some trim for the side of it so it looks real nice and you don't see the exposed sides of the three quarter inch plywood. We're just going to cut them the length, put some glue on, and then secure them in place with some 18 gauge brads. Before we put our labels on, we're going to want to put a little bit of finish on here. I use some Zinzer Ran shellac, it works great. We're then going to get our quarter inch backing piece and secure it in place with a couple of brads so the bits don't fall through the holes. We're then going to get all our driver bits, we're going to lay them out in the order we want them to be on the board and we're going to start making our labels. When I make my labels I use this Brother label maker. A word of the wise is you do not want to use a cheap label maker because it's going to have cheap labels. I've done that before and when you have cheap ones the labels come off. With the labels done we just peel off the back and we put them in place. Make sure you put some pressure down and adjust your spacing accordingly. It's not that hard to do. This is how everything came out. You can see our mortise bits spaced all nice. Our nut driver bits spaced very well. And last but not least, our driver bits. This system is great. I would definitely recommend it. Next, we're going to make the front portion of the drawer. We're going to use quarter inch plywood for this. I'm going to measure the length, width, and height of what I need to be. Like I said, the bottom is 3 quarters of an inch. We're going to rip it to its width. We're going to then cut it to its final length on my miter saw station right here. Then we're going to cut a bunch of three quarter inch strips, that's the height I made everything to be. From there we're going to go, we're going to mark off the size of what we need everything to be, and then we're going to go to our miter saw station and make cuts very cautiously. You can see I use a push stick here to be safe. To assemble everything I just put glue on the ends and I get my 23 gauge DeWalt brad nailer and I shoot brads on. I was a little nervous about doing this at first, but let me tell you, it works great. Uh, if you want to see a review of this brad nailer, I have one coming up in my upcoming videos. I'm going to get my spindle sander and some of the pieces I'm going to sand down so there's a little cove in there so it's easier for you to grab the bits out with your fingers. From here we're just going to keep on assembling everything and make it what we need to be for our drawers. It came out great. These are the final products. You can see the main one, the secondary one, and the third one. Now let's put everything in place and see what it looks like. Pop the first one in. It's pretty simple. They fit really smooth and really tight so there's no wiggle room. Now let's put everything in place and you can see everything that was made to fit here does, it's perfect. This system is great, I've used it in my other drawers, but this is the first time really building it out. You get so many bits over time, you want to keep them organized and this is a great system so you're not stuck or pinch and hold with the small DeWalt or Milwaukee sets you get. So with everything set, you can see we're just going to pop the other ones in here to the lower drawers and this is what everything looks like. You can see it looks beautiful. Um, didn't figure out what we're going to do with the lower storage ones yet, but they look great. I'm especially proud of this mortise drawer and the bits. It's so nice and organized. Thanks for watching today's video. If you'd like to purchase any of the products that I use in this video, I have an affiliate link in the comments below. Please use that. It'll help support this channel. With that being said, uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.